everyone, Emily Cobb here, excited to show you around my little chicken coop and show you what I've done so far in terms of trying to set up a home studio and my little best friend here, Rosie, will also probably make a couple appearances during this. Anyway, it's nothing super fancy, but maybe it'll inspire a couple of you to find some space if you can to keep making, keep creative and um, yeah. welcome to Arcata, California. There's campus right there, just a block from my house. Working on getting those courses online right now for my students. Very surreal. On the right hand side is the entrance to the Arcata community fire. So right at the top of that hill you can see the redwood trees poking out there. And then to the left side, if you were to drive about five minutes, you would hit the ocean. So it's a pretty little sweet intersection here. This is the main house. I live in the back. Going through the gate here, it's a really nice backyard. There's groceries I just had dropped off. Again, strange times. And through here, it's a little garage apartment. And then this is my converted chicken coop. Doesn't look like too much from the outside, but they did a really great job taking it from chicken coop to oasis. Really feels secluded back here, peaceful. You can pretty much see the whole apartment from where I'm standing. Here's the kitchen on the right, some more groceries. And then over to the left, bedroom one, bedroom two, and my studio space my mug, JV Collective, miss you all, my bookshelf, cooking books on top, they're mostly my husband's, and then below all the art books are mostly mine, gotta have a good collection, ooh there's Charmed, and Glenn Adamson, Digital Handmade, Cast, lots of books, was able to bring those back from school. Here's the workbench I just made. Took an old belt, made it into this nifty hammer and plier hanger. Pretty proud of this. Found some storage spots over there. Getting ready to paint some pieces that I have left over from work I made last fall and over the winter. I always sort of do a draft piece first and sometimes I'll go back and actually paint those and make them into final work. Here's a little, little bird over there in the making. It's dyed green already, but I have the beaks made separately so that you get a nice crisp color separation. So there's the little beaks ready to go, ready to get put in there. What else I have here? Got a nifty little container full of sparkly glittery cabochons. Those become the eyes on those birds. And here's one of my neck pieces while it's still in 3D modeled form before it's printed. I have an ergonomic keyboard there to keep my nerves and muscles happy. And I'm able to work really efficiently on this computer. I was very lucky to get with some research funding from my university. Heard someone. Up. Oh, here's my special guest, Rosie the cat. Has been really amazing to have a companion during this. Out here we have a beautiful backyard. Sometimes I'll see a deer or two hanging out back there. And that gate goes down to a little creek that runs behind our apartment. Hello! <laughs> and that's pretty much the whole space. You can see it right here. 